What is up you guys? So welcome back today to episode 15 of the bulking series. It's another day in the bulk on the road to 200 pounds. We've got a lot of food to eat. We've got a workout to hit. So let's get started with the day. So food time, I need to make a meal. I don't have any rice right now. So I have these like pre-packaged rice, ready-made meals. I'm gonna do one of those and some beef I have in the fridge and that's gonna be a meal. Beef is here. All right guys, so we've got our meal here. We've got the Mexican rice with the beef some diet soda, and I've got a little bit of this chili mayo, sriracha chili mayo to put on the meal as I'm eating it. It's important to switch up the foods and the flavors you're having on a bulk. It keeps your palate fresh and it helps you from getting like bored. So Mexican rice instead of my normal white rice is gonna be an interesting change of pace today. It's so weird how early in the evening it gets dark now. It's only like 7 p.m. right now as I'm recording this. But yeah, I gotta walk to the store. It's really warm too. It's like October and it feels almost like summer. So I'm gonna go get some food for meals later. Quick little snacks and then some other like base meals just to get a lot of calories in. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna get when we get there. A few minutes later. Navigating the grocery store. First order of business is the meat section. So let's see if they got what I need in stock. So they got the gluten-free sausages. I'll get like two packs of these. These are literally free calories. I just throw these in a pan. It takes 10 minutes to eat, 800 calories. Next we need our base protein. I'm just gonna get this packet. I have to buy the pre-formed meatballs because they don't sell a higher fat percentage beef mince so those will have to do pre-made rice packets just throw these in the microwave easy carbs more diet soda what did he say soda soda the hell got everything i need i'll see you guys back at the house and then it's time to go to the gym all right guys we're back i got my groceries i'm gonna put everything away so two of these little mexican rice packets so much quicker than cooking rice. I'm honestly gonna try buying these more in the future. I got potato chips. These aren't really like a bulking food. They're kind of like a cheap food, but for me that extra 500 calories sometimes is all I need to go over into a surplus as long as I'm hitting my protein and my carbs from other areas. Like this is fine. And then of course I got my protein, my smoothie, my soda, and that's it. We're gonna tuck into all of that delicious food later and make some crazy meals for the bulk. But for now, we need to go to the gym. So let's get dressed. Starting off, we're gonna get some Young LA joggers. Boom. Next, I'm gonna grab a shirt. This is the super villain compression t-shirt. One of my favorite items from Young LA. As you guys can tell, this thing fits like crazy. And yeah, that's the gym fit. If you guys ever want to get anything from Young LA, code Lee saves you 15% off. Links in the description. Even though I never intend for this to happen, whenever the winter sets in, I just train so late at night. I, I go to the gym at like 10 p.m. every time. And you're honestly much better off training earlier in the day, but for me it works. I get a quiet gym and I can just dial in. It's only gonna get worse as the days get shorter and the nights get longer with the winter too so I got to get on top of it so I did chest for my last workout I think I'm gonna do shoulders and back today maybe a little bit of arms but shoulders and back combined is one of the best pumps so I'm really excited we here all right guys I'm gonna start on some rows to get into the back and shoulder day and then once we're nice and warm we'll probably move into a shoulder press so let's go enough how the hell would you know what enough is? What do you know about what I've been through and the things I've done? Huh? I'm not done! As long as Ocelot still lives, eats, and shits, I haven't done enough! It is not enough! Don't talk to me like we're friends. I think maybe you people have gotten a For some reason my back, I'll do like one or two exercises before I do like a, a back row and I feel weaker. So when I start my workouts with like a heavy row, it's like the only chance I have to overload the muscles in my back. It's just a really taxing movement. You're using almost like six different muscles at once. So it's definitely smart to do the hardest movements at the beginning of your workout. Next, I'm gonna do shoulders. Um, just gotta make sure I'm nice and warm because I still got that bad left shoulder, but should be fine. So let's get into it.
All right, so that weight actually felt kind of light. I think I can go a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna move up in weight. So I was at 13 reps on that last set. Now I'll try, try to go down to like eight reps per set. Find a weight that works for that rep range. Why ask such a ridiculous question? Beating a man into submission is no way to start a peace negotiation. Today's the first I've met any of you. We know nothing about one another. I have no quarrels with anyone here. And I'm not who you came to fight. So what reason could we have to hit each other? It's absurd. We're only here because of a dispute between Canute and Kettle. All right, I'm gonna go for one more solid set of shoulders. And then once that's done, I'll be done with my pressing movements. And I'm gonna go into another back exercise, going back and forth. Sent them out here to spill each other's blood. We just met. And we've hardly even spoken. I don't have one enemy among these men. Get out of my friend. This video really pisses me off. enemies at all. So this new lap pulldown in my gym, it's really buttery. Like the cable and everything feels great. But the only issue is that it's kind of like a short setup and I have like pretty long arms. So I can't fully extend at the top and get like that complete stretch on my lats, which is a little bit annoying. It feels like I can only get 80% of the range of motion. So either way, not the biggest deal. I saw a piece of content the other day and it was also like a study. It was like a, God, some type of scientific study. And it was saying that the most stretched part of an exercise is where there's the most like muscle gain that's actually made like it's the most productive part of the movement so on a chest fly for example when you're fully squeezed you're not getting as much out of it as if you're all the way stretched and just doing like partial reps the science can get really confusing sometimes Literally all I've done, lat pull downs, shoulder press, cable rows for the back, and now I'm doing some arms. I might try to squeeze in some side lateral raises too, but I like those low volume, really high intensity workout sessions. I don't leave the gym feeling like a zombie, but I still feel like I had a really productive workout. If you guys are ever spending more than an hour and a half in the gym, I'm almost certain you're either doing too much volume or you're not training hard enough. Now the triceps, as I always say, are a very weak muscle for me. So I'm gonna do these before I do some side delts because I just wanna prior prioritize every last bit of energy I have that can go into that isolation exercise. Yo, so workout's done guys. Pretty solid session. I'm gonna head home now because I have a lot of food left to eat today. And uh, yeah, we have more bulking to do. So let's go. All right guys, so we're back. It's time to make our next meal, which is gonna be the same as our last one. I'm gonna grab a little bit of seasoning, paprika, garlic, and some pepper. Go ahead and put this pan to medium hot. And we're gonna make some delicious protein. I'm quite confident in saying that I control the uh, beef inflation in my area. The price of the beef is dependent on how much I buy because I get so much. Check this out, right? So you literally just put these bags in the microwave for two minutes. You like open the top and you just throw it in, in the bag. And look at that, you're gonna get 200 calories per serving and you've got 250 a bag. That's 400 calories in two minutes. Talk about convenience. You kill three of these a day, 1,200 calories just from rice. Beef is done now. I'm gonna take my rice, literally just go like this, tiny little slit in the bag. I'll just throw this in the microwave. Two minutes, boom. Mm. This shit right here, you guys, the secret sauce. You find one good condiment that you really like. It elevates all of your meals. It goes from like a six out of 10 meal to an eight out of 10, instantly.
Consistency, repetition, builds muscle. Best part of my day right here. It's like a forearm workout trying to get that sauce out though. And now there is nothing left to do but for me to eat this meal. So I'm gonna dig in and I will check in with you guys soon. We got a lot more food to eat, so let's go. Oh, and uh, something like 60% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're still watching, go hit that subscribe button, baby. Update, finished that last meal about half an hour ago. Now I've got these potato chips and I know this is like a cheat food, but if you guys do about 80% clean bulking foods and then 20% cheap bulking foods, you can definitely get away with that. You don't need to eat like 100% healthy foods. As long as you have the majority coming from a healthy source, having stuff like potato chips, ice cream here and there can honestly really help you hit your daily calorie goals. Now this bag weighs 125 grams and it's got 500 calories per 100 grams. So 600 calories to kill this bag of chips. That is no problem, I'm gonna take this down. And of course, the sweetness to go with the salt. In my opinion, salt and vinegar chips are the best flavor of chip. Mm. This is literally free calories. Like this isn't hard to eat. You just kill these. Doing these damn dishes. All right, so here's the deal. It's getting late, but we need to get another meal in. I think I'm gonna make beef and rice again because I need to eat beef and rice to get the protein in, but I think I also wanna make another small snack after I have that meal. I'm not totally sure, but I need to cook again, so let's go get it in. Also, just got this Gorilla package. Most of you guys know Gorilla Mine is my supplement sponsor. They have a ton of really exciting stuff coming in October. New protein flavor, new pre-workout flavor. Might be able to give you guys a sneak peek later in the video. All right, bro, what the f man? Oh, Jesus. Nah, that thing was as big as my freaking pinky. Guys, I'm dumb. I forgot I bought sausages earlier, so I'm just gonna cook these instead of beef. Alrighty guys, so I got these sausages. These are 700 calories chopped up. That's 40 grams of protein from those. And then we got 400 calories of rice, which is 80 carbs. And there is the meal. Of course, I'm gonna get some sauce for this and that's gonna be light work. All right guys, I got my meal and I got my show. It's time to get down to business. If you guys really wanna get big and you really wanna gain some size, you need to eat your meals. No skipping your food. We're gonna hit our calories no matter what. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I'm way too excited to not open this package up. <clears throat> There's a ton of like insane products coming in the month of October for Gorilla. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the items we got going on. I don't know if I can show you the flavors and stuff, but let's go. So we got a new flavor of nitric, which is the non-stim pre-workout. I'm just gonna show you guys this because this is coming out soon. Blackberry lemonade. Bro, I cannot wait to try this. That sounds like a delicious flavor. Next up, we got these new shaker bottles. I'm pretty sure these are glow in the dark for Halloween. They're like neon green or something. Wait, never mind. <laughs> Forget that. This I am so freaking excited for, but I don't think I can tell you guys about it yet. Gorilla is releasing a new type of pre-workout that's gonna be more affordable. It's gonna be a, a, I can't tell, I can't talk about it guys, I just can't, but stay tuned. And the flavor is insane. You know what, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like. That's all I can show you. Next up, I am way too hyped for this. We have a new flavor of protein. I don't think I can leak this, you guys, but 
I'll give you a hint. It's every white girl's favorite drink from Starbucks in the fall. I got two tubs of that. Yeah, guys, I'm freaking hyped for all these new products. I can't tell you guys too much about it yet, but very soon we will have some new releases on the way. Gorilla Mind Supplements. Make sure you guys use code Lee. If you ever get anything from Gorilla, link will be in the description. All right, guys, that is gonna bring us to the end of the full day of bulking. We got a lot of food, great workout. Yeah. Productive day in the bulk. Thank you guys for watching. If you've made it to this far in the video, don't forget to drop a like down there as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.